Lurie Glow has a haunted home that keeps him on edge at all times. He records down the hallway because a ghost is down there. He's sure of it. I'm not sure what he is saying and need your help to fully understand. <laughs> He hears a loud noise from behind as the ghost walks past and touches a light. The living room is where he experiences the most paranormal activity. So there's already a second camera all set up. Here is the same scary moment from a different angle. As you can see, he hears a bang, turns around, and that's when this stuffed animal gets possessed. Is someone pulling strings off camera, or are these objects moving on their own? There's a YouTube channel called The Ghosts of Mississippi that goes to great lengths to debunk supposedly paranormal hotspots. You may remember an incredible video of theirs that I analyzed at the Wolf Manor in Clovis, California, in which a cross pushes itself through the floor. Anyway, the point is these paranormal investigators aren't afraid to travel across the nation for a good investigation, and that's the kind of dedication that makes their channel the real deal. With that said, there's another series of haunting videos of theirs that I want to focus on, ones that center around a haunted church that's in their home state, a place they've investigated often. On December 19th, 2019, they enter the church and begin addressing any spirits nearby. They apologize for the condition of the church and show genuine sympathy. Then, after establishing a certain level of trust, they make a small request of anything listening. I just make one loud noise. Of course, he could have just dragged his own foot across the floor to make the sound, so this alone isn't conclusive evidence of a ghost, but when they get out the spirit box and start asking questions, they get two clear answers. Here's the first. All right, do you want to speak to me now? And when he pretends not to understand, there's a second note that sounds like it's not coming from the spirit box, but from a row of pews further back. Yes? Yes. Even if this spirit box is a little more than random responses from radio airwaves, the odds of hearing nope twice and in perfect timing with a question are slim to none in my opinion. Orbs begin to dance all around, and then it gives a name, which I can barely hear, so I'm not so sure about this one. Kevin, I heard that. This follow-up cry for help, however, is about as clear as can be. And I think it's creepy how it waits an appropriate amount of time to reply, and I don't think the orbs dancing all around are a coincidence. <laughs> then there's the strange shadow figure in the stall, seen at around 9 minutes. Is this Kevin the spirit, or is this the thing that Kevin was asking for help against? Just a couple weeks later on January 5th, 2020, they return to the church for a closer look. This time, as one of them kneels down to look at the mirror, this creepy image of an evil entity forms before their very eyes. So stand up, you can't see. Dude, I'm seeing something demonic. <laughs> On the right side of the mirror is what they describe as a demonic image peeking in. You can see its hands raised, and if you pause at three seconds, there's also two eyes and a small open mouth. When he stands up, the figure disappears and does not return. Of course, this could simply be a dirty mirror, but according to the investigator kneeling down, he felt something grab his hat, and when they shine their light on the mirror to try and recreate it, they can never make the figure return. Roaming cold spots begin to pass over them, and they decide to leave before anything else happens. But on the way out, I hear a hiss at 1 minute and 11 seconds. Freaking. They and as they reach the final room, they hear a warning sound from deeper within that I have no explanation for other than the paranormal. This sounds like no animal I have ever heard, and I can practically hear the hate in his guttural growl. They search for the source of the growl for just a moment longer, and then decide to get out of there fast. With so many sounds and sightings in such a short period of time, I have little doubt that something horrifying lurks within these walls. Its very existence is a defilement of this location, but perhaps that's exactly why this demonic force has chosen to make this place its new home, and I doubt it's leaving anytime soon.
A YouTuber named Josh Washi is exploring an abandoned building that he suspects is haunted. Long ago, this was a school, but now is little more than a crumbling collection of rickety rooms waiting for a closer look. He and his group somehow make it all the way to the attic without falling through the floor. Hidden at the far end is a door to an unknown room that makes them nervous. His friend Nate goes to open it and that's when the urban exploration goes wrong. No, 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 that door just f opened by itself. That door just f opened by itself. At 3 minutes and 52 seconds, you can see Nate comes very close to touching the door, but ultimately does not, and is in fact moving away from the door when it mysteriously opens like a ghost is near. I think this video is real based on one thing. They were really worried about falling through the floor until they saw the door open and took off running, which could have gone very wrong. Thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers next. Thank you.